My historical memory here is long. Reverend Lloyd Breck started the school in 1886 in Wilder, Minnesota. I've been involved with Breck since 1945 when I started in the first grade. I graduated from the River Road campus 1957. Breck was a school that would be willing to educate students that no one else wanted to educate. From its founding, it educated the children of immigrant farmers and the Native American population, to its move to the Como campus when it was an all-boys military academy, through the 50s uh, when it started educating girls as a co-educational day school, to today where here at Golden Valley we are educating all students of all races, ethnicities, national origin, and religious backgrounds. Breck is certainly impacting student lives. And really the focus is on developing students to be prepared for college, to develop their own passions and, and celebrating their own unique talents, and also to be aware of the greater good and understand their social responsibility to society. I went to Breck from first through 12th grade. I am now at the University of Chicago studying biology. I'm really grateful to have had the experience that I had at Breck just because I know that whatever I'm going to do in my life, I'm well prepared for it. Breck feels like family. There's a sense of the interpersonal relationships, the friendships that are formed here, as well as the lifelong mentorship uh, that they have with their teachers. When you take a step back and look at what our students have done uh, under this caring, nurturing environment, you'd be very impressed and something that I'm very proud of. I was a baseball player growing up. I spent all my time and energy uh, in baseball. And so when I got to 10th grade here at Breck, I auditioned for a play, and I didn't have any experience, didn't have any background in theater. And Tom Hag very bravely took a chance on casting me, and that helped launch my career to get into acting because he encouraged me to try something new, even though I didn't have any experience in it, and that really changed my life. It is important for us to remember the fact that we have benefited from the generosity and the time and the thoughtfulness of Breck leaders of the past. It's our responsibility today as people who love this school to ensure that Breck will be around for the future. And in a sense, we need to pay it forward and give to Breck School so that future generations can benefit from this. Support of the endowment is a great way to make that happen. I have been a champion for years on supporting the endowment. The most important thing that the school can do is to have a strong endowment. Giving to Breck is really giving opportunity to kids to have well-rounded futures because they're going to face a lot of challenges and it's really going to give them new opportunities after they graduate college and have to take on the world. To those who helped me continue at Breck through financial assistance, I am so grateful because I wouldn't have been able to grow up in a community like this and I can't express how grateful I am.